I'm Crystal Nassar with Tuscany Florist in Rancho Mirage, California, and I'm going to show you how to make a wrist corsage. I've decided to use some very um, sturdy flowers. They're Cymbidian orchids. And uh, usually the rule of thumb is three, sets of three, three roses, three carnations, whatever flowers you want to use. So I'm going to cut three blooms, and I have um, this wire, it's not too thick, it's a nice gauge. I'm going to center my finger and just bend it over, just like that. And I'm going to take my orchid and I'm going to insert this in the center of the orchid where the tongue is. I'm going to just stab it in the center and try to get that wire on both sides of the stem. So very carefully, just stick it in, don't be afraid. And, uh, and I've stuck it in perfectly. So you have the wires on both sides of the stem and I'm going to stick it all the way through, kind of wiggle it, pull it through. Don't break that tongue. And that's enough. You want to do that for all three orchid blooms. I've got the wire in. And next, I'm going to tape each orchid. So I've got my floral tape. It's not sticky on both sides. It just sticks to itself. So you're going to get your floral tape and then pull it tight, and that's how it'll stick. So start at the very top of the orchid bloom, hold it tight, and then just start wrapping it around. So you're wrapping the tape around the orchid stem, trying to keep the wire on both sides of the stem. Just wrap it all the way down to the bottom, to the bottom of the wire, and then just pull it apart. Now that you've wired all three of your blooms, and uh, you've taped them, you can add a little bit of greenery. You don't want to put too much greenery because uh, you don't want them to be too heavy. Just, just cut a little, some type of greenery just to add some contrast. You don't have to wire it even. And just put it accenting the blooms. Just tape it with the floral tape and it, it'll stay nice and tight. You have your beautiful orchid accented with the green leaf. And now you can just start assembling them. We have different uh, wrist holders. I'm going to show you a few of them. We have uh, the typical, what you see, it's just got the elastic and it slips just right on your wrist. It's very lightweight. Or you can get real fancy and you can use rhinestones. This makes a lovely keepsake for your mom or you know, relative. So uh, next I'm going to show you how to attach the orchids to the holder. Um, first what we'll do is combine them all together to make one as though uh, you would do a pin-on. But we're not. We're going to attach it, so we're not going to uh, curl the... We're just going to twist the orchids together with the taped wire, how you want them placed. And uh, you can bend them a little bit because they're on wire. So that's a nice grouping of orchids. And um, what we're going to do is use our floral tape to tape all the stems together. Okay, now that the stems are all wrapped together, they're nice and firm together, I'm going to attach it to this beautiful rhinestone holder. And um, it comes with strings so that you can tie it on. So it's nice and secure. And we're going to tie it several times at different places. Next, I would accent it with whatever color you think you might like. Um, I use a floral glue and I just put a little bit of glue down and then just stick my stick my flower on there. It takes a couple of seconds to dry 
So you have this beautiful corsage, not too heavy. And um, then you can cut your strings and twist your wire when you're finished so that it's not poking anybody. I'm Crystal Nassar with Tuscany Florist and I just showed you how to make a wrist corsage.